Hi, this is Ram from ramgedem.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use the AND and OR operators. Using these operators, as you are about to see, allows us to create filters which are based on more than one column. So let's begin our lesson by understanding how to work with the AND operator. Let's type. Select customer ID, last name, city, monthly discount from customers where let's say city equals to New York and monthly discount is greater than 10. Let's highlight and execute. The output of this query represents the customers who live in New York and their monthly discount is above 10 and indicates that all conditions specified in the WHERE clause must be met. So each row we are getting from this query belongs to someone who lives in New York and his or her monthly discount is greater than 10. Now let's see an example for the OR operator. Let's copy our last query and change the AND operator with OR. Let's highlight and execute. This time we are getting all customers who live in New York or having monthly discount greater than 10. So you can see people that do not live in New York but their monthly discount is greater than 10 or people with monthly discount less than 10 that live in New York or indicates that at least one of the conditions must be met. Either the city equals to New York or monthly discount is greater than 10. Order of precedence. Let's type the following query. Let's say select customer ID, last name, city, monthly discount, marital status from customers where city equals to New York or city equals to Chicago and marital status equals to Mary. By executing this query, we are expecting to retrieve all married customers who live in New York or Chicago. Let's execute. Have we got the right results? The first row meets our criteria, married customers who live in New York or Chicago. But the other three rows, as you can see, don't. Why this is happening? Consider the OR operator as the mathematical plus sign and the AND operator as multiplication. Now, there's a difference between saying 1 plus 2 multiplied by 3 and 1 plus 2 within brackets multiplied by 3. The same way multiplication is granted the higher precedence over addition, the AND operator is granted the higher precedence over OR. So in this example, the SQL engine considered this condition as the first one and these two conditions as the second meaning all customers who live in New York or married customers who live in Chicago. To change the order of precedence, we can use brackets. So let's copy our last example. And this time, let's enclose these conditions within brackets. As you can see, this time we are getting the right results. So always be sure you are using brackets when dealing with combinations of OR and AND operators. One general guideline. When dealing with more than one condition, a common mistake is to add the WHERE clause multiple times. So in our last example, let's copy it. Beginners tend to write something like this, WHERE first condition and WHERE second condition. This query returns an error. Remember that each SQL query consists of only one WHERE clause. Okay, so in this lesson we learned how to use the AND and OR operators. Please feel free to ask any question you may have in the comments section below and if you are looking for a way to practice what we have just learned, 
In ramcadem.com you will find hundreds of exercises on many different levels. More details can be found in the video description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.